Hey everyone, hey dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Please remember, I and we do not hate the people featured on this channel. We want them to be saved. I would love them for, to go to heaven. I would love them to know the truth of Jesus Christ. But I can't help noticing the signs, symbols, and agendas that are anti-Christ. And I'm trying to show that to the world, even though the world really doesn't want to listen or seek the truth with all heart, mind, soul, and strength. They don't want to investigate these matters because, right, then they'd be a conspiracy theorist or get called crazy or something like that. A lot of people think Tom McDonald is like against the man or <laughs> against the, the music industry. And I think he has a song called Satanic Rappers. I've seen some of his stuff. But I will show you, he does the same signs and symbols and agendas that the world does. He's doing the vow of silence here. Is he keeping the secret of the biblical world about fame, fortune, and success and how it works and most likely about Freemasonry? His girlfriend and also rapper something, whatever, is Nova Rockefeller. She's doing the vow of silence as well. And she's doing it again here. And she's got a wad of money, and it's over one of her eyes. Probably a coincidence, eh? More one-eye symbolism here. Tom McDonald. Some people probably idolize him. He's doing 666 in the Eye of Horus. Nova Rockefeller is wearing a shirt with a worldly depiction of Jesus. Is she a Christian? And here's Tom McDonald, another worldly depiction of Jesus. This time, Jesus has face tattoos. I'm sure he really would want those. <laughs> Nova Rockefeller posted this on her social media. It says, see you in hell, and there's the flames going on. And she posts this, someone wearing a, a hat that says 666 on it. Here's Tom McDonald doing 666 in the Eye of Horus again. And he's doing it again there, and he's wearing... An upside-down inverted cross. He's hanging out at NASA, you know, not a space agency. And she's hanging out at NASA, you know, not a space agency. And she's wearing a NASA shirt. And we'll end with, this says, is God really dead? And what does she say in her response? She says, yes. God most certainly is not dead, but he did die on the cross for us, was buried, then resurrected three days later, according to the scriptures, he is the living, breathing God of the world. He is not dead. He is alive, very much so. He died so we can live, so we can have eternal life and be forgiven. We all need these things, and most people, even if they don't recognize it or realize it now, they want to be saved. They want salvation and to go to heaven. Brothers and sisters, everyone else, God bless you.